there is one key vitally important thing I need you to focus on with two months left for the exam and this could be the difference in bumping you up a grade this is the difference getting you into your college course getting into university or not and that is hello lovelies we have two months left for the exams and that is a slightly scary thoughts we're in march we've got april we've got may and things kick off on the 16th of may with biology paper one and i think it's psychology for a level over the past few months we've been building up your origin so at four months left before the exams we were talking about doing open book paper so looking up the answer no time pressure but jumping from topic to topic so that you are mixing up your revision so interleaved revision with two months three months left before the exams we were doing lots and lots of retrieval practice so lots of short multiple choice questions lots of recall questions and there are loads of these available for free over on my website. So you can go and check those out. Just do them and make sure that you're getting your recall, the quick short answer questions so that you can apply all those short answer or long answers in the exams. Now, with two months left, there is something else I want you to focus on. And it is not yet doing whole exam papers in time conditions. We're going to get to that over the Easter holidays. We're going to get to that when I release my predictive papers for 2023. But we are not there yet. It is a very, very rare student who was in every single lesson and paid 100% attention for 100% of the time. It might have been that you were late to a lesson for 10 minutes because you had an orthodontist appointment. Or that you missed a whole day of school, or a whole week of school, or a whole month of school because of COVID. Or you were had to leave early to go for a football or a hockey match. So chances are you had missed some part of a lesson somewhere. And the point is that this 10 minutes, week, half an hour that you missed could be a six mark question in the exam. And you don't know what it is that you missed because you missed it. So the key important thing I want you to do with two months left before the exam is work out what you don't know that the examiners think that you know. That is so confusing. It always does my head in when I say that. But what I want you to do, and this is not hardcore intense revision, I've tried to make this as easy for you as possible, is work out what you know, work out what you don't know, and work out what the examiners think that you know. Now, as I work out, I've done loads of this working out for you, so you don't actually have to do very much. And there are loads of different ways you can do this. The, the complicated ways to go to the exam board, get the specification, sit there with the specification and read it. But it's really in a very, very teacher way. So what I've done for you is I've taken the specification and I've turned it into normal person speak and not teachery speak. So I've taken out lots of the the, the really, really intense pedagogy that's learning to teach, stuff that you don't need to know about. And I've just written it in simple statements and then tick boxes and then linked it through to the video where I explain to you that bit. So what I want you to do is get the checklist. Go from the website, go sign up to the mailing list. If you click the bit in the website that says 10% off and free revision guides, it takes you through to the sign up page, the mailing list. And then on that, the welcome email, you'll be able to download free revision guides checklist for science, maths, geography, history, psychology and we're working on sociology as well and what I want you to do is to sit there with them and go yep I know that bit, yep I know that bit, yep I know that bit, oh I'm a little bit confused by that bit, I know, I'll just go and watch a video, learn it and then when you're watching the video you can decide whether yep you actually do know that bit, you're fine, you just weren't 100% sure or whether that was the bit that you missed and that you don't know about. So the key thing here is working out where the gaps are and filling in those gaps. Now this is on top of all the other revisions, so keep going with the book papers, keep going with the multiple choice questions, but this is kind of like a one time exercise. And you don't have to print it all off, you can do it all online, you can fill it in, like colour it in online or whatever, but sit there, work out which bits you do know, which bits you're confident with and which bits you don't know, and then just for the exams, go and check that we filled in those gaps. So I'm not asking you to spend hours and hours and hours doing vision. This is kind of like, you know, spend half an hour, 20 minutes doing this exercise this weekend for each of your subjects. Work out where the gaps are, work out what bits have or haven't been filled in. And then we can get on with filling them in and then we can get on with doing predictive papers when we come around to April and everything's amazing. You and me together, we are going to smash this. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.